Today we'll talk about global TF network inference in humans. The main motivation for this project stems from the fact that inferring direct functional targets of TFs is difficult due to the lack of overlap between genes in whose regulatory DNA a TF binds and the genes that respond to the TF perturbation. So keeping this in mind, we use a two-stage approach uh, that combines net profit and dual threshold optimization, both published algorithms. Net profit explores the observation that the response to perturbing a TF is strongest on its direct target and dissipates rapidly as it propagates through the network. DTO builds on the idea of picking a threshold pair for binding data and perturbation data instead of picking arbitrary threshold for each data sets to generate most significant overlap of genes. Both these algorithms claim to capture the direct functional targets of TFs. So you combining these two algorithms, we build the Ensemble DTO network, EDN. It's a global gene regulatory network with 56 TFs and 6,312 protein coding genes. The details of how we combined and processed binding data and perturbation data is in this slide and we recommend you to visit this slide uh, for more detailed outlook. Uh, but basically we combine binding data and perturbation data across multiple cell types and tissues uh, and when we intersect TFs and target genes in perturbation data and binding data, we have 141 TFs, 11,199 genes. That's an input to our net profit algorithm in the first step. As I said, DTO tries to find optimal threshold pair for response signal and binding strength. So in our algorithm, we basically, as a first step, feed in perturbation data to net profit, which has three components, lasso, BART, and DE. And now net profit has its own way to combine the output from these three components, which is net profit 310 CV. It uses an Adaboost algorithm. Now what we do instead is we take an individual outputs from net profit and feed it into DTO alongside the binding data. Then we get three networks out of DTO. And we combine those three networks to generate the ensemble DTO network EDN. And the way we combine those three networks is using DTO specificity module. The basic idea of specificity module is to test if the overlap in the DTO between binding and perturbation evidence for the TF is specific to the TF. So we sequentially replace the perturbation data of the TF of interest with the perturbation data of 100 other TFs. We run DTO on all 100 pairings and find percentage of pairings that have more significant p-value and effect size than the true pairing. We do the same process with the binding data. And while we merge the network in case, while we merge the network here in case TFs overlap between individual components of TTO output, we pick the TFs that have low percentage of false pairings that perform better than the true pairing. And that's how we get the ensemble DTO network. And we compared our network with two matrices, gene ontology enrichment and protein-protein interaction from string DB. The graph on the left shows our gene ontology evaluation result. The first graph shows the results on the median negative log P across TFs in each network, where log P value for each TF is from the most significant go term for that TF. We see that EDN performs better than Marburg. It's a global Marburg network combined from 32 tissue specific networks and filtered for TFs and genes in our perturbation data set. We also check for mean binding support for the genes that overlap with the most significant go term across TFs. The goal of this evaluation is to check if the most significant p-value for the TF is partly due to indirect targets of TFs. We find that EDN is more likely to have p most significant p-value resulting from direct functional targets of TFs compared to Marburg and NP310CB due to its relatively high mean binding support. On the right is a PP interaction from string DB, and we check for protein-protein interaction support for top 200 TFTF interaction in each network, where interactions are scored using Jacquard similarity index for each TFTF pair based on their target gene set. We find that Marburg performs better than EDN and NP310CB for top 60 interactions but EDN performs better or similarly to Marburg as we'll look at more interactions. 
the result on both graphs so that our ensemble DTO network performs the best overall across two metrics that look for biological relevance of the networks. So we basically created the ensemble DTO network that, combine, that combines the net profit and DTO algorithms to reconstruct a direct functional global gene regulatory network. All individual components of DTO output are merged using DTO specificity module, which we believe for the filters for indirect targets of TFs and other false associations. Our network performs well according to Go Enrichment, where it outperforms Marburg, protein protein interaction support, where it performs similarly to Marburg. And we believe our focus on capturing direct functional targets of TFs through multiple stages where we combine net profit, DTO, and DTO specificity model resulted in good performance. Our small network is already showing promise in terms of evaluation with metric that test for biological relevance of network. So we plan to integrate more perturbation data covering a diverse range of cell types tissues from both bulk and single cell RNA-seq data sets to improve the generalizability of our network. We also plan to improve external validation with the 32 tissue specific networks from Marburg by merging the most relevant tissue networks to compare based on what tissues we combine our binding data and perturbation data from. We also plan to use TF binding data and epigenetic information from specific cell type tissues to construct cell type tissue specific networks from our global ensemble network. Thank you.